I'm not sure who needs to hear this message. But God wants you to know that you are SOS. That's right. You are SOS. Hey, be honest with me. Y'all phones went out yesterday too? <laughs> that was crazy, huh? Couldn't call nobody, couldn't text nobody, couldn't do nothing, not even Nathan. Couldn't do Nathan. And what that taught us? <laughs> Boy, listen to me. When you put your when you put your your trust in the things of this world, it's gonna always let you down. Whether it be a phone company, whether it be a tower, a signal, it don't matter what it is. The only Wi-Fi signal that we can 100% put our trust in is the Lord. And see, me and you, we connected to the Lord. Our Wi-Fi signal strong. But every day you need to examine that signal. Because there are days that the signal strength is weak. You might only have one bar. Why is that? Is it because God changed? No, indeed. <laughs> he the same yesterday, today, and forever. He'll never leave you nor forsake you. You got me? So, if your signal is weak, boy, it's because you drifted off. In the Bible, I want you to read about the prodigal son. He wandered off. You know what I'm saying? He thought he could have it better in the world. Then the Bible says he came to himself. When he came to himself and realized he had it better in his father's house. You feel me? And watch this. And see, the father wasn't like, you know, unwelcoming. No. The father welcomed him back with open arms and actually <laughs> met him at a certain distance, right? Welcoming him back. In other words, God, God arms are always open, but it's us that drift off in the world. Boy, if that uh, phone signal going out yesterday, if it ain't do nothing else in the world, <laughs> it taught you to put your hope in the Lord, man. That's the only thing that can sustain us. You know, in the natural, when we walk into a room and we sit down in a chair, we don't examine the screws underneath the chair. We don't examine the wood. We don't examine underneath the chair. We don't do none of that. Like, we naturally just go ahead and we put our faith in the chair. And see, when it come to God, boy, we want to examine everything. I, I don't know if he's going to come through. I, I don't know. what. Look, take, man, take God at his word. He's undefeated. He created the man that created the chair. I'm trying to tell you. God undefeated. And look, so when my phone was off, when it wasn't working, couldn't talk to nobody. Guess what my phone said at the top? My phone said SOS. And I'm sitting here like, what in the world that mean? SOS. And you know what the Lord was showing me? The Marcus. <laughs> the whole day, every time you look at your phone and try to see if you got a signal, after you done checked it 40, 50 times throughout the day, when you keep seeing SOS, that means you are someone special in the eyes of me. See, nobody is too little, small, insignificant, unimportant, and overlooked when it comes to God. You are someone special because the Bible says that you are made in his image. The Bible says you are a royal priesthood. He called you out of the darkness into the marvelous light. You are someone special. He sent his son to die on the cross for your sins, for your guilt and your shame so you can be redeemed. That's just how special you are. If the world would have needed a scientist, God would have sent a scientist. The world ain't need that. The world would have needed a basketball player. He would have sent somebody down here to do a finger roll. If the world would have needed a, 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 a piece of chicken, he would have sent somebody down here to fry chicken. The world ain't need that. What did the world need? The world needed a savior. <laughs> So what he did, he bankrupt heaven and sent his son to die on the cross for your sins. How did he bankrupt heaven? Boy, he sent all he had. Just like if you go to your bank account, regardless of how much you got in there, you take all of it out and you put all the chips on the table. Boy, that's love. He sent his son. He sent all that he had. That show you just how loved you are. That show you how special you are. Boy, you're someone special. When I was checking my phone throughout the day, I kept seeing that top. I'm someone special. I was telling myself, Demarcus, you are special. You will love Demarcus. Boy, you got a purpose on your life, boy. <laughs> boy, oh, boy, you a child of God. Boy, do you know how much that you are loved? Do you realize that? 
See, when we ponder on how much we are loved by God, we start to act different. You got me? We start to conduct ourselves different. We start to hold our head high. It's easier to make eye contact with people. Why is that? Because we're confident in who we are and whose we are. Who are you, Demarcus? I'm a child of God. Whose are you, Demarcus? I belong to God. And I was created on purpose and for a purpose. And my identity is with divinity. If you don't believe me, boy, check my fingerprint. You ain't got a zigzag on your fingerprint. God made me and you different. I can't be like you even if I wanted to. Boy, that's your superpower. Let God use you today because you love. He loves you just as you are, but loves you too much to leave you the same. And no matter what you're going through, no, 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 no matter what situation you're in, God still loves you. He's still with you. and You still have a purpose on your life. And if you feel like you've messed, you feel like you've messed up your purpose. You're like, oh, I done messed up God's purpose. Boy, you ain't, you ain't that, you ain't that all uh, powerful to mess up God's plan for your life. How do you think you that powerful to mess up God's plan for your life? Boy, he can redeem the time. God can do more in, in, in two seconds than you can do in 22 years. He can redeem the time. He can restore. That's how powerful he is. He created the heavens and the earth. He used Moses to part the Red Sea so surely God can look at you and, and, and part that situation that you're dealing with. <laughs> God undefeated, man, and you SOS. Next time that pop up on your phone, don't panic. You might not be able to call nobody, but guess what? You can always call God because you're someone special. Boy, I read that someone special. And I went straight up in the prayer. <laughs> While the world is panicking, boy, I'm smiling because I understand one thing. My signal with him ain't never going to turn off. I'm choosing a hunger. And the Bible says, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Oh, is you hungering and thirsting for him today? He said he's going to fill you. Follow him. Come after him. Because you SOS. <laughs> I love you so much. Hey, if you made it to the end of this video, boy or girl. I need you to hit the like button. Then I need you to comment the words. I am someone special to God. Because that's right. <laughs> Boy. Oh girl. You're special. You, you, you're special. You got your own pitch of your voice. Can't nobody sound like you. If you call somebody name out in the middle of the grocery store. Somebody you know be able to recognize that voice and say. I know who that is. I, I don't, don't nobody sound like them. The Bible says my sheep know my voice and a stranger they will not follow. When it comes to the voice of God, the more time you spend with him, just like your little cousin or your sister or brother, mom and daddy, when they spend time with you, they, they so familiar with your voice that even in a crowded room, if they hear you calling them, they that's them. I know their voice. That's how special you are. You're unique and, you, and, you, and you're different. Be you. Please be you. Listen, <laughs> I got one more thing to tell you. Look, <laughs> it takes way too much energy trying to figure out, um, you know what I'm saying, trying to fit in with the world. I retired from that, boy. I used to try to be liked. I used to try to, I used to try to do, be whatever for the world, boy. I used to sag my pants so low they look like ankle socks. I used to try to do everything of the world. Boy, that, that took too much effort, dog. I don't know how y'all do that. I had to take two naps during the day, boy. Y'all wore me out. Now that I'm being myself and I'm and, 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 and I'm being used by God and I'm and I'm smiling or whatever. Oh, the burden is light. Cause it's hard to pretend, but it's easy to be you. Take that run with it today. And you're gonna have an amazing day because you SOS. <laughs> Someone special. I love you so much. I'll see you in the next video.